everybody. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We welcome you ringside for a much-anticipated bout. Let's set the table for you and get ready to dish up this big night of action. Mr. Untouchable's confidence is really showing through as he makes his way to the ring. of stones making his way to the ring with a determined giddy up in his step Untouchable's combination punching here is showing you what good boxing is all about. Three punches thrown, three punches landed. Oh, a good right hand by Mr. Untouchable. He saw the uppercut, he took advantage, throwing it out there. Hands of Stone's got to find a way to land more of these punches. It's okay to throw punches, but not if they're just drifting off to space. Absolutely, and space is it. He's in space. He's too far away. He has to get the right range. You need to cover up for him, okay? You're leaving yourself open too much. Cover up. Okay. Offensively landing that combination by Mr. Untouchable. Well placed hook there. Good job, boy. Good job. Huge punch by Hands of Stone. Good accurate hook by Mr. Untouchable. Somehow he's a big, big shot comes crashing home. That's a big body shot right there to score the knockdown. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught. Have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're going to find out right now, he needs to right now. A crushing two-punch combo by Hands of Stone. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. And we come to the end of round number two. Mr. Untouchable's plan is clearly to go upstairs against his opponent. And to do so, he's staying out of that danger zone, Teddy. How would you attack that? Well, first of all, you need to move your head. Take that height advantage away. You know, slip to either side a little bit, and all of a sudden, get inside that jab. This is yours, you hear me? 
This is your fight. Keep it up. Keep scoring points like that. Stone corner did a good job in that last round. They really got their fighter back to where he needs to be after being damaged in that last round. And that's not the only good job they did in the corner. They did a good job in the camp because obviously they have him in top shape and it's paying dividends right now. We just have not seen the big shots from this guy. He is not throwing the power punches, Teddy. What would you say to him? Well, first of all, I would say to him, what do you think, that he's going to make a deal with you? If you don't hit him hard, he won't hit you hard? No, no, it doesn't work like that, my friend. He's going to get confidence now. He's going to take advantage of this. Not able to land the headshot. Keep moving around the ring. Get on your bike. Get Good on your solid bike. shots with the combo downstairs. Oh, he turns it over right into a hook. Hands of stone, stumbled back. He just got hurt. Uncle Mo, there it is. He goes down in the later stages of this round. He's going to try to survive it. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep that jab pumping, then throw the lead right hand. You're winning this fight hands down, baby. Keep boxing smart, in and out, side to side, you understand? In and out. Don't fight this fight. Jab and move. Place your body work. Hit the body. You gotta watch the water in the corner. In the Some guys just get out of the gate well, and such is the case tonight. Teddy's scorecard has them up three rounds of zip. Hands of stones coming out here after being knocked down in the previous round. How important is it for him to be cautious here, to make sure that he does have his legs underneath him? You know, it's a little bit of a double-edged sword there, Joe, because if you're too cautious, hey, your opponent, he reads it. You're not in that ring alone, you know, and then he's going to get more aggressive. So you want to go out there, maybe faint him a little bit. Let him think you're okay. Let him think you want to go after him. Let him think you want to engage a little bit and then wind up boxing, staying on the outside, buying some time. Committing to the body work now. He lands the right hand. Now he's targeting upstairs. So he takes a breather between rounds after he just put forth more of the same punishment. Teddy, we've been sitting here all night long as he lands these thudding blows. You can just hear the damage landing. Yeah, and I can feel them. Some fluids that I don't really want are coming onto my shirt. All right. All right, you are dominating this fight. Keep it up and keep doing exactly what you're doing, baby. That was good. Nice work. Beautiful. Real nice. Beautiful. Keep that head moving. And I want... Round number five has arrived. Mr. Untouchable's corner has to be pleased with everything they've seen so far tonight. Consensus ringside is that this is a one-sided fight, that he's in complete control on the scorecard. Yeah, well, he's having his way, and it's not going to change unless he gets a little cocky here. If he starts looking for maybe one shot instead of putting them together the way he's doing, maybe it allows his opponent to have a little bit of hope, a little ray of hope, get back in this fight. Scored well with the hook. Mr. Untouchable showing us that he's aggressive, but this is not a good kind of aggression. You can be countered. Yeah, it's a reckless aggression. You know, he's just walking in there, you know, with these big wide punches. Something's going to come in between. A knifing jab splits through by Mr. Untouchable. Mr. Untouchable's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. And round five comes to an end.
He's accurate, he's smart, and he's winning this fight all night long on the outside. Well, if this was a debate, there'd be only one guy talking. I mean, it's him. He's doing exactly as you said, Joe, what he wants to do on the outside with his jab. But his opponent needs to find a way to change things, get inside. Listen, you need to move your head more, side to side, okay? We I want to see that head move more. You have to double jab, all right? He's timing every time you come in. You don't need that. I want to see that. that. As another round gets underway, it gets us thinking how much more of this will we see. Hard to envision this fight going the distance with how lopsided it's been. Man, that's it, baby. Good job. Hands of stones ripped by an uppercut. Mr. Untouchable. Wow! From absolutely out of nowhere to now on top of the world, he just lured him with that punch. Short one, maybe six inches. It's over. Fight is over. Mr. Untouchables gunned down yet another opponent. A knockout victory. Now that's how you end a fight right there. Yes, he was controlling throughout, but he made a good, clean finish with the knockout. Yeah, as a trainer, you want to know, can a guy punch, can a guy defend? You know, can a guy control distance? But you want to know, can a guy finish? He got the answer. Yes, he can finish. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. Enjoy the rest of your evening.